We got a new project for us right here. 2000 and... 2002. 2002. 2002. Skidoo Legend 550 fan cool. These are in great condition. Track's good, no studs, and it doesn't run. We do have the seat somewhere, but yeah, this thing hasn't been running for four years, five years. I did a video with it a long time ago when it was running, and then it just died on me suddenly. This is gonna be our project for the day. Get on, Skidoo, and go do it. So I want to see who else loads their sleds like this. Everybody. No, nobody does. That's the thing. It's the most efficient way. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing will be running tonight. Time to resurrect it. That's good. <laughs> we got 10 gallons of non-ethanol gas. If we actually get this running, I'm stoked to ride it. Because it is a lot of fun. Yeah. It seems like a really cool sled. They don't call it legend for nothing. Yeah, I mean, she's seen better days, but I think I picked this up for 300 bucks back in the day. She's not the prettiest of the bunch, but she'll get going. What do you think it needs? I think it needs a good carb cleaning. Let's peek under the hood real quick. Hood stays open on that one. That's a nice feature. We're definitely going to need to do some carb cleaning, your favorite, and check the plugs. We'll just do the whole dance, you know, like we always do. This does have electric start, so if Mike is so generous to lend a battery, we could even try electric start instead of pulling it over 20 times. We'll just kind of look through the wiring a little bit, make sure there's no gremlins. It may just need a carb cleaning. Again, Mike's sponsored make by sure Cheetos. Cheese straws. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love checking plugs. Did you check it already? No. There's a surprise for us both right now. Oh, it looks like there's some moisture in there. Oh, God. You probably got some water down in the cylinders. <laughs> so we couldn't find any new plugs, so... <laughs> Not the traditional way of doing things, but hey, we couldn't find any more plugs, so let's see what they look like. Oh, dude, that's brand new. Yep. Nice. You want to make sure you get the sand out of it. You don't want that. It's called glass in this case. I'm using glass beads for more delicate stuff lately. Kill switch on. Okay, hit it. Oh yeah, she's sparking on that one. Oh yeah, that one's a good spark. We have spark. That's one thing that we need. Mike's favorite part, carb the doctor. box off. Yeah, let's, let's check this, make sure there's nothing wrong here. There you go. Nice. That's how it should be. <laughs> Those aren't even tight. There's tape on it. Yeah, duct tape. Come I on. see a little bit of junk in the carburetor. Not sticky. And they're not gummy, so that's a good sign. Yeah, let's get this off. You got a mouse nest down there. Oh, is that a mouse nest? Yeah. Or is that just a bunch of leaves? It looks like a nest to me. Yeah. Any dead mice in there? Oh, rocking the Ride More sweatshirt. And, yeah, that's pretty decent. Not even bent needles. Ah, the old chair. And the second one. Clean as a whistle. As a whistle. What we got? Oh, yeah. They need all the floats all in there. Oh, the floats. That happens to every yeah. sled. I need a 10, it looks like. Really, the hardest part was taking the seat off, and luckily I did that for us years ago. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Since when do we have the right tools for the job? We're going to take this tank off. We found an old gas jug. We're going to throw it in there. Get all that bad gas out of here. We're not going to spill a drop. All right, we had a bad, bad thing just happen. <laughs> bad gas everywhere. What a mess. All right, we're going to just clean this off best we can. Clean up the mess that was made inside. Man. So what did we pull the plug right out of the tank? Yeah. Look at this mess. Some surprises. Huge ice chunks. What was that? We got a toy. That's a <laughs> There's lot. a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> so now we're gonna take the car oh, out. Loose. Are they loose? They just spun around the back. Oh, right yeah. through my hand. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any uh, fatal fatal flaws. I think these carbs are going to be okay. You think so? Compared to like that was could do we did. Mike and I are going to separate for a couple hours. We're going to put this over by the furnace and hopefully that dries it out. I know you're going to be tempted to clean those carbs when I'm gone. That's why you're going to leave the camera. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going for the, uh, the pieces of the fuel gauge here. Oh. I think there's another piece, the, the one that ha takes the reading, the needle, that's in there. I also got that thing out just by shaking it, the pickup screen. All right, next, I'm gonna be working on this fuel line that ripped. And also, I'm gonna take this off and see what we can do about getting that back in the tank and making some sort of seal for the new gas. This other hose was just falling to pieces, so I got this hose. Make sure when you get a hose to the fuel tank, you get a hose that's approved to be submerging gasoline. You can see it's got crack in it right there. We'll get that RTV'd in, a couple cracks. I got this wedged in there really far. That's wedged on so tight, that's never coming loose. For my next trick, I'm gonna be taking all this dirt 
and cleaning off the front of the tent because it looks so nasty. So I'm going to be putting this guy into here. Got my old RTV. Got a little dad here. Jeremy's not around so we don't have to tell him. Slip this guy right through. I'm going to angle it off to the side here. And now I'm going to push the barb in through the center to expand it. And expanded it. New line. Sealed the cracked gasket. We're all set. Hmm. I think these burritos have gone bad. There's nothing in them but goo. We'll eat them anyway. And we're back. I can go get that. If you want to make this functional, because I don't think this is ruptured. <laughs> I think he's screwed up. All the way empty. <laughs> 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 Alright, we, we actually fixed it this time. All right, carbs are next. Lay out your dinner mat. Oh, Whoa. oh my burrito. <laughs> right in your burrito. You guys have been very supportive of videos lately and we appreciate that. As far as carbs go that have been sitting, this one probably is a great A. Are you happy with that? You gonna put it back together? Yeah, I think that's good. Those run, this runs, those are clear. Everything moves as it should. Jets are clear. Mike, $20 if you can guess where these carburetors were assembled. Japan. Nope. Canada. Nope. Mexico. Yep. Where most of our videos are filmed, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what? You crack it just like an egg. Mike got the carbs clean, now we're gonna get the old gas out of it. I'll just uh, cycle this through a couple times. Doing something? Oh yeah. So Mike's got the compressed air. He's gonna shoot through the lines. Oh, nice. Oh yeah. Dude, look at that. Look at all the nasties in that. Yeah, that was in the fuel pump. Hey, we know, also know the fuel pump's working. Yeah. You gonna drink this? Or no. You, you gonna make me do it? Got the bad gas out of the lines, and we know the fuel pump's working, and we have clean carbs, and we have spark. We still have to wait for the gas tank to cure, which will be another few hours, but I love how much room we got here. It's nice to work on. How does the switch work? Is it easy to go to that bulk position? Oh yeah. Check our oil while we're at it. Oh, she's low, but she does have some. No coolant because it's fan cooled. Just like a beater slot, I think fan cool is the way to go. I do see down here where it looks like we got some oil on the oil line. I think that is correct. I think we got about an oil line. We'll try to power shot. See if it runs. Just to see if it runs. We gotta wait for the tank anyway, so then we can spend time on this oil line. Yeah. All right, we're going to throw a little bit of oil down the cylinders just to lubricate it a little bit, especially if our oil line's not really running. All we're trying to do right now is get it fired off of a power shot. Mike loves that little funnel thing he's got. Mystery power shot juice. Nice. Okay, key's on. Kill switch is on. Hit it. Okay. Oh. There it was. It's a good sign. Took a few pulls, but yeah, we heard it. Keep watching. We may get this thing running. See that, what I'm talking about? Yeah. The oil line right there. You want to take the muffler off then? Yeah, let's get this bad boy off. Nice. Should check some mouse nests in there. Oh, that's a good idea. Like a smoking gun. Pretty good? There's like nothing there. Oh yeah, usually you see a lot of shavings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mike and I just found this while we were looking for lines. It looks exactly the same size, just a thicker border. All right, let's see what we got. We just pulled that line off. Bunch of little tiny cracks on that one. <laughs> that's a thick line. That thing's not going to break. <laughs> just at the tail end, that thing is so loud. Do we have any oil coming out of the line? Oh yeah. That's what it was starting to. Yeah, we got oil coming through. We got our oil lines fixed. I'm pretty sure those are not coming off ever. Unless Mike tries to jump the Grand Canyon. How's it look? Yeah, I think that's ready. Vent back in place, push that sucker in. And we got easy access to the line right here. If this starts leaking gas everywhere, we'll uh, put insurance on it and get the lighter. We should start a sled insurance business. I got fresh gas for us. The finishing touches. You gonna do the honors? Look at that. That's probably the easiest airbox I've ever seen. I am 144% sure this is gonna fire up. They're gonna have to run two ads in the time it takes you to empty this. <laughs> now you know what time it is. The moment of truth. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. That might have been the leftover power shot. You got choke on? I did. Okay. Yeah, get you some chill. Threw it in my mouth at all. <laughs> we'll put about half choke on it. And I think we got it. Okay, round three. 
Yeah, half choke. Kill switch is on. Come on, give us some pulls. Okay, one more. That's it. That's it. That's it. Woo! Yeah. Another one. Yeah. The legend lives. And it's idling. Another successful Sled Star video. Skidoo Legend 550 Grand Gold. See ya. Bye.